Boys and girls, I'm here with a new video. That's not the intro forever, but that's what it's gonna be right now. At first, before we talk about referees just doing terrible stuff, I wanna say thank you so much for the, the love on the Kobe video a few days ago. Reading the comments of that just helped me so much in my grieving process, and I'm still grieving just like everybody else. It's, it's, take, it's gonna take some time for us to get back to normal, if we ever get back to normal, but reading those comments did help me so, so much. So I appreciate everybody that, that watched that video and left some words, and I'm sure you not only helped me, but helped other people reading the comments of that, all right? So thank, thank y'all so much. But we had to talk about some referees, man. The referees, listen, I have to say, I respect referees because they have one of the hardest jobs in sports because they have to be pinpoint accurate with everything. Because if you miss a call, it can change a game. If you call the call wrongly, it can miss a game. And a lot of times when I be watching games and I be like, man, wait, that's not a foul. And then you see in a slow motion, you're like, that's a foul. How the heck did the ref see that when I did it? Like, it's really it's really a skill to be a good ref. But not all refs are good refs, y'all. Not all refs are good refs. So today's video, we're going to be reacting to the worst calls in NBA history. And I got to say, I know one ref in particular that should be on here at least a, a thousand times. Bro, Joey Crawford was a crazy, crazy man. It was in his eyes, the NBA was his, and we were just watching him. He was the main attraction, not James Harden, not Dirk, not, not Kobe Bean, may he rest in peace. You, in his brain, you came to watch him referee a game. And because of that, he made so many bad calls. And uh, well, let's just watch the video. Subscribe if you're new, man. Let's have some fun. Okay, so. I, I did cheat and just watched the first three seconds. So I know what this first clip is, and golly, this is such a bad one. This is such a bad win. The man is completely out of bounds, touching the ball. Nothing, nothing was called. Well, let me see where the official Nothing was called. The man is five feet away from Kevin Durant as he's touching the ball. The ref just don't see it. Westbrook is called for a flagrant offensive foul. What? A flagrant offensive foul? What did he do, ref? Definitely a foul. A flagrant offensive on that. get a better angle here. Yeah, let's see it again. My guy is just shooting a jump shot, ref. I don't see anything there. I don't either. I mean, I think he hit him in the face. Wait, wait. Nice job challenging the shot, and as Westbrook comes down. I mean, yes, he hit him in the face. He's just coming. Whatever. This was called a three. All right, let's see what's going on here. We got I see Damian Lillard being guarded by Darren Williams. So this is an old clip. Brooke Lopez is still on the, the that is your no way they called this a three pointer. Dog, he's shooting from the free throw line. That's crazy. Oh, oh, I remember this one. I remember this one. Um, this is this. Oh, it says 2005. I was trying to think of the year. This is in the conference finals, y'all. I don't remember what game it is. Look at the score. First of all, the NBA 15 years ago was crazy that a game with 82 points is like, that's a, that's a fun game. Look how much time is left. And I think this is Joey. Every time I see a bald ref, I'm assuming it's Joey Crawford. He called this a, what's the call here? A foul. He called a foul when in reality, Joey Crawford was the one that hit him. Look at Chauncey. Chauncey like, bruh, come on, man. Damon Jones is going to go to the line here for two free throws. Let's take a look. The outlet pass a little bit too far ahead of Jones. He does a nice job of recovering and a little bump. And it's Joey Crawford that runs into him, and he calls the foul Davis. on. Oh, that's crazy. What do you have here? It's 0. .7 seconds Davis. left. Barry Davis. No, Game. No, it's waved off. Bernie Fryer says no, it will not count. No way, they didn't take this from Barry. Oh so no way they took Brandy that from him. No. And listen, this is Baron Davis, David Wesley. We talking like, this is before they reviewing plays, bro. So they went to OT. They didn't go to the monitors with the headphones on to see like, oh, did he get it off in time? Whatever the ref said at this point was the law. Let's watch. Are they going to play it again? They better play it again because we need to see the slow motion of this. And we're going to overtime for the second straight. That, that's 
0.7. There's 0.3 on the clock, and his hands is off that ball. They took Bam Davis' night from him, man. I wonder if they end up winning. Oh, oh, that's a foul. That's all arm. And look, Kevin Love can't do nothing but smile about it because he knows it's BS. Y'all remember him in this uniform? Why are there so many Minnesota Timberwolves fans in the crowd? I'm not saying. I'm just saying that people ain't really watching them like that. Shout out to Rick, Coach Rick. They got a slow motion this right. From my perspective, that was all on. You hit a call? Listen to the call. Love moved to his left on Marion. Sean had his hand out. He went right across the arm of Love. Listen to the call, bro. He's hot. That is unbelievable. The referees are booed as they go off the floor. Brutal. Oh. David Guthrie is right there. He didn't have the guts to call it. Also, I love the passion. With Carmelo playing away. I love the passion from the announcer, bro. You that's how you know a fan announcer, bro. He's hot. That's a foul though, Sean. Sean Mirren's one of my guys, man. Chicago stand up, Illinois stand up. But that's a foul. Kevin Love did get free throw, so that's that's a plus. And now he needs to be freed again. Wait, what? A technical foul on Pekovic? Pe Petrovic? Petrovic? I don't Pavlovich. Pavlo you know who I'm saying. That's a tech on him. Melo put the, hit the man all in the throat. All in the throat. Let's see what's this one. I'm trying to see if I remember a lot of these, and I don't. I don't remember this one. So we got Steve Nash and Marcus Camby are being highlighted. Okay. Up to Amari. A foul has been called on Marcus Camby on this play. Who else but Joey Crawford? Marcus Camby? Oh, this is the playoffs. I remember this. This is the playoffs. Right? This is the playoffs. May McMillan. This is in the playoffs, ain't it? It's, it's, they're in the penalty now. Portland is, but the question is, we got to see it back. It's on yeah, we got to watch that slow mo. What did he do? That is a huge call in this ball game. Yes, it's playoffs. See, I remember this play. So, Marcus Canby gets called here. He. Hmm, bro. I'm not saying that Joey Crawford is right. But watch, watch him as he tries to get over this down pin. He kind of has the neck of whoever. Was that Amari Stoudemire? Like, watch him come up. Oh, no, that's Grant Hill. Look at him. He's like his arms around the neck of Grant Hill trying to get around it. I'm not saying you don't call that call, but I think I kind of understand it. You know what I'm saying? This is the most, the, the lowest quality clip. Jason Terry get called. Oh, this is the Tim Duncans. This is the Tim Duncan getting technical, getting teed up on the bench. Who else but Joey Crawford? This is an all-time Tim Duncan moment. Everything he did on the court, one of my favorite memories is this off of the court. He get called for a T because he, he says something, fine. And what did he do? He laughs it off. It's better to, to just laugh it off because you laugh it off and nothing else happens. The T happened, ball don't lie. Tim Duncan excited because ball don't lie. Joey Crawford, mad with power. 31st season. The man was there for a very long time, by the way. And Tim Duncan just chilling, laughing, enjoying life. It's weird to see him with dreads nowadays in his old age. But this is later in the game, just a little bit later. Another foul on Roberto. That's a bad call. And then Tim Duncan is laughing on the bench. And he gets thrown out of the game from the bench, bro. From the bench, bro. And he could not believe it. He could not believe it, bro. They get they get like the sheriff and everything to score him out. Joey Crawford was a man mad with power. Man, I don't. The, the, Joey Crawford should have got suspended. 
fine. Something should happen to Joey Crawford right here other than him just keep playing or keep reffing. Jacques Vaughn is still playing too. That's This is a very old clip. Jacques Vaughn, the man been coaching for seem like forever. He's actually a player in this clip. Manu not, not, don't got the ball. Oh, his ball spot is still up. My fault. My fault. His ball spot is still up. Still up. But still, bro. He's just laughing, bro. Is this the last one? Yeah, it looks like this might be. Might have one more. So you see, he just laughs. He just laughs. <laughs> the whole vibe just changed for my boy Rob, bro. Robert or we start laughing and everything. Oh, crazy circus shots. And I see Derrick Rose in the thumbnail. Come on, man. You, you know I'm gonna have to watch that one eventually. Uh, those are the those are the worst calls in NBA history and recent NBA history. I couldn't imagine what it was like in the 70s and the 80s, bro. I I can't I can't. Especially with no replayability, it's really just whatever the ref said was was the law. That's fun though. That's that's really fun. If you enjoyed it, to leave it a like. I cannot ex stress to you how fun I've been having uploading these reaction videos. It's just a completely different speed from the main channel when it's so much more relaxing and a lot of fun. So I've been having, I've been really enjoying myself. Be so sure to subscribe if you're new around here. We've been uploading, trying to upload every day, trying to, trying to, uh, and I'll be back, y'all. Peace.